I'm Ann Butera. I'm so glad to have you joining me here in my garden today. I actually wanted to give you a tour of my studio, but I wanted to start out in my garden because my studio and my garden are now connected. <laughs> we'll just go right through those doors and I'll show you around. So this is my new space. I moved into this room last summer before construction began to put in the door where there was a window and before we had the deck built. Here is a bit of what things looked like while I was moving my studio and while things were under construction. It was messy and it was chaotic it was dirty and it was a lot of work. I have so much stuff and moving it and packing it up and packing it up again and organizing everything took a very long time. It's good to look back and remember how much work really went into this. I continued working as much as I could in my studio with a lot of things packed up but during the actual construction, there really wasn't much I could do. While it was going on, it was so exciting to know that soon I would have a very beautiful space to work in. My studio had been upstairs in a different room, and this used to be our bedroom. I loved the idea of being able to blur the lines between my studio and garden and having this new space connected to my inspiration, connected directly to my garden has been wonderful. And although this is a studio tour, I wanted to show you a quick look around my garden. My garden really is just another part of my studio. And this time of year in August, things are so lush and overgrown and so very joyful. My garden brings me joy. It provides me with inspiration. It provides me with food and it is truly a sanctuary for me. It was especially wonderful during the winter. Usually the winter is hard for me. I feel disconnected from my inspiration. I feel disconnected from nature. And being able to sit in here every day and look out at the birds during the winter, see my garden, see the sleeping plants, it made such a huge difference to my mood, to my inspiration, to my energy. So this space has been wonderful. Over the last year, I have truly settled in and filled my space with everything I need for my art and so many things that bring me joy. When I was setting up my room, I knew I wanted to have all of my books in my space with me. Some of my books had been in other parts of our house. We just didn't have the right bookshelves for me to be able to have everything in my studio. And so when I moved down here, I tried to accommodate my books as much as possible. This silly arrangement of one shelf on top of another makes me so happy. I know it's a little weird. It might even look a little precarious. The color that I painted this shelf is just such a joyful color. There's something about it that makes me happy. And of course, there are plants. And my flying pigs are here too. They always bring me so much joy. If my studio has a theme, it would be books, plants, and art. It makes me think of one of my favorite quotes. It's from Cicero. If you have a garden and a library, you have everything you need. And this little corner back by where we came in is the epitome of that. It makes me so happy and it makes my studio such a special place. 
This room is about the same size as the room I had my studio in upstairs. It's 11 feet by 13 feet. The other room I think had six more inches in one direction. In any case, I love having my studio here opening out into the garden. These shelves hold all of my art supplies. I have paint here. I have markers, I have pastels, I have all sorts of little bits and bobs. I love having them out where I can see them because for me, out of sight is out of mind. I also think that art supplies are just really pretty, especially things like my colored pencils, my crayons, and I love seeing all the colors. The large closets in this room are a big improvement from my last studio space. One of the things I love about this new studio is that all of my technology, my computer, everything is tucked away in a closet. Now I took the doors off of this side and replaced them with curtains, which just takes up a lot less room, makes things look a lot softer, these doors that were here I don't really like and so this was a nice compromise. Having my computer tucked away like this keeps it out of the way and allows me to focus on other things. When I'm painting I can be away from it. My favorite thing about my computer closet area is that Matthias built custom bookshelves on either side of my computer table and above it. I can store all of my journals in here, lots of supplies, lots of little bits and bobs that just are here to bring me joy. Also books, notebooks, tech stuff, all of it is so nicely organized. Storage is so important in a studio. And the storage I have in this new studio space is so much better than what I had in my old studio. Behind the other set of closet doors is even more exciting storage that makes my working so much more efficient. These doors kind of act like an organizer for me. And inside, this is where I have all of my shipping supplies and all of my products. Turn on the lights. I have some under shelf lights here so that the workspace is illuminated. And having everything together like this has been wonderful. In my old studio, all of my boxes and wrapping paper and sleeves for prints and backing for prints and shipping tape, everything that I needed to ship out, prints and paintings and other products, like my journals, which seeing them stacked up here in this storage closet makes me so happy. All of that was in a different space than where all of the products that I'd be shipping out were. So I would be going back and forth and it was very inefficient, especially at those times, like around the holidays where I'm shipping out lots of calendars or other products. I've got my prints and I've got art in these drawers, which I fixed. I took them all apart and glued the ones that were sagging and so far they have held up and so yes this closet is such a joy and maybe it's silly to say that but it's one of my favorite things about my new studio the other wonderful thing is that i can close it and all of that is out of the way and I don't have to see boxes and shipping tape and all of that. Ample storage and a balance between what's visible and what's not is always a challenge in a creative workspace. These shelves are where I keep my sketchbooks and sketchbooks are a huge part of my creative practice. 
I love having them out where I can see them and where I have easy access to them. The sketchbooks on the top shelf are the ones that are all filled and finished, and the ones down here are the ones that are in process. Of course, I have some plants and some art pieces that I can look at for inspiration. And when I'm working on a series or a project, I can use this space for display and just to bring me some joy. This thrift store cabinet is one of my favorite pieces in my studio. I originally bought it for the dining room in our old house and I painted it a fun color and eventually it made its way into my studio. First upstairs in this house and now down in this studio. I have it filled with all sorts of art supplies and little bits and bobs to use in my art practice. It's a very useful piece and I just love the look of it, especially with the typewriter on top. My painting table is such an important piece of furniture in my studio. It has been in so many different rooms of different places that Matthias and I have lived. It's had lots of different functions, but I love using it as a painting space and a creative space. There's so much room to spread out on it. I can work on lots of projects at once. I can fill it up with lots of flowers from the garden when I'm working from reference for my garden. And although it takes up a lot of floor space, I just can't give it up. Another great thing that is new in this space is this bright light. It is so bright. Although I love having natural light, having this bright, fixture above the table allows me to really see my work. My art is very detailed and being able to see what I'm painting is really important. And this does the trick. Thank you so much for joining me in the studio today. I hope you enjoyed taking a look around and that you're feeling inspired to really savor your own space, maybe reorganize, and maybe work on some art. I will see you next time.